yes, you read that right, Tana, release AI features, and they're way more than what you expect. By default, you just do AI, colon, and then you ask it something, right? Like that, and now you just click Ask AI, and it's gonna start loading this little circle, and it's gonna give you an answer straight away. Boom, there it is, right? So this, even though it's cool to have in Tana, is nothing more revolutionary than ChatGPT itself. But the amazing thing is that Tana decided to make this integrate with Tana truly. And now you can do things like this, so check it out. All right, let's ask AI, make a table of the most important ancient Greek philosophers and the best quotes. It's gonna load for a second. Boom, here's a table of, look at that. It just created a table here instead of Tana with fields, with the best quote, which is what I asked it. Look at that, that is just crazy. And it doesn't even stop there. Let me just blow your mind a little bit further. You can suggest AI fields in here, right? So we're gonna click on that. It's gonna load for a bit. There it is, AI column suggestions ready. And now we're gonna see a couple of things. Birthplace, your birth, school of philosophy, famous work, and so on. So let's just do a school of philosophy. That one's interesting, boom. And now we have a field and we can click on AI and it's gonna start loading all of that. You can see it starts to populate the correct information. And there we go, look at, like, this is next level. It's crazy, let's add another one. Year of birth, okay, let's do AI, it's gonna load. There it is, how crazy is that? This is a table, this is a freaking table and it gave us the correct information. So you can feed it information and then you can generate AI fields based on that and now you can just do amazing things. It's all based on this simple prompt. It just created a table, then it gave us the information we wanted, which is the best quote. Then it even suggested AI fields, and then it generated information based on AI. Like, what? Like, this is crazy, man. Honestly, like, my mind is seriously blown. <laughs> So if you didn't guess it already, I'm gonna be exploring a lot more AI inside of Tana. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Right now, it's still kind of like early access and early stage is not as easy as just like start typing this and boom, there you go. You just need to do one simple step, which I'll show you right now. It means you need to connect it to your ChatGPT account. I will walk you through this very simple, but a couple of things to consider. And with that said, let's get started in the tutorial and let me walk you through how to set it up correctly. Okay, so here we are in Tana and we need to activate this feature in order to use it. So go to the gear icon Tana Labs AI for Builders. And once Tana has reloaded, you just do AI and then, you know, this colon symbol. And then you can ask it anything, right? Something that why AI will change everything. I just type that and then you just click ask AI. Now, the very first thing and the reason why I'm showing you this is because there's a little bit of a setup right now. They are making it clear that they haven't fully integrated everything to you know the wider public but they're allowing people that are able to already use it so when you do this it just asks you for your open ai key like if you don't know what this is don't worry i'll walk you through it straight away it's very simple so in case you don't know open ai is just a company that runs chat gpt which is this one right here of course so what you need to do is you need to go to platform.ai you can see it here that's a url you need to go so this is considering that you already have your chat gpt which is chat.openai.com Make sure you create an account here and then just type in this link platform.openai.com right now all you need to do is go to the top in here and just view api keys and now you just need to create new secret key just click in there you can give it an optional let's just say tana ai then let's click create secret key okay now usually you should see a number in here you just click the copy button api key copied i just removed it from the screen so that you don't see it but that's the idea click done and now you can go back to Tana, ask AI, and then just paste it here, right? So I'm gonna paste it. Just imagine this is a number, <laughs> and then just set key. It's gonna start loading this, this thing right there, and boom, there it is, it gave us our answer. All right, so that's working, but I do need to let you know something important, which is the fact that whenever you create one of these API keys, like the one we just created for Tana over here, whenever you do one of these things so that you can use ChatGPT in another app, this is actually gonna cost you some money, is gonna charge you based on usage. Now, don't worry too much, these are honestly cents, like OpenAI, which is a company that lets you use ChatGPT in other apps, this is actually going to charge you just very few cents based on your usage. So honestly, don't worry too much. It also comes, the reason why I didn't ask you to enter a credit card is because this also comes with a trial. So if you go right here to usage, you'll be able to see that I've been using it for a couple of days for other things as well. And it gives you $18 for free included. And I've only spent 17 cents and I actually use it for quite a bit. So honestly, I don't think you should be worried about it. Plus. Worst case scenario, you can just use all of this free trial and then later decide if it's worth it for you to keep paying a couple of cents to be able to keep using it. And then later, if you do decide to pay, you can just go to billing and then it's gonna ask you for payment method, usage limits as well. So if you only want to spend, let's say $5 a month, you can decide on that and then you will just be able to never surpass that limit. So I really think it's a really good idea to use this. And if you're a bit worried about 
spending too much, usage limits is the solution that you need. And there you go. I really think this is going to revolutionize the way that we take notes because now we can actually leverage AI in our notes. And I think this is just going to keep improving over time. And it's just it's mind blowing. Like other apps that have tried to integrate AI inside of their tools, I don't think they've achieved anything close to this. This is absolutely next level. I'm so excited to see where Tana takes this. And if you want to explore it with me, check out the community. I'm going to be having a video call discussing these features, how you can apply it to your workflows. And in general, it's a really cool place to improve your productivity and learn all sorts of really cool things to really help you advance your goals through technology and productivity. So hope to see you there and go enjoy AI. There you go. Bye. We said forever, but I didn't mean like this. Seasons change, but I don't want them to change us. And these days you've been saying my name different. So afraid to see us fall, but it's imminent. If I'm being honest, I'm not ready for this winter weather. Yeah.